proceed to be 23 and presenting. episode 60 and I'm back from my field trip I got with my co-host with me Josh and we're going to an odd cut version of Andy Kindler now this will feature the same questions but I'm gonna try to remember them because I think I studied them and hopefully yeah. I can improve more of money than that and if you saw in the first uh, time Adam played as against Andy Kindler, uh, everyone actually beats Andy Kindler. So let's see if we can uh, uh, actually pull it off again. Now I'll be making uh, a something so you can skip the the Andy Kindler more phrases so you can get to the questions rather than getting bored. So anyways, let's get started. Yeah. And for the 75th episode, we'll play a special guest, which is right here, Poopsie it's and Mandy. Cookies Cat. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's play the Aim the Kinder Uncut version. Let's do it. Professional considerations for You Don't Know Jack, provided and by... And, and, and the sponsor announcer is Schmitty. Right. Cookie and Schmitty are still alive. Today's special guest right. is a very talented Look comedian and voice artist who's been yeah. on uncut. everything from Everybody Loves Raymond yeah, I don't know to Doctor Katz to here. Bob's Burgers. Please welcome Andy Kindler. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I don't hear a round of applause, but I'll assume that people are either applauding or internally they feel good about me. Have you I do know that uh, is the show over? Or no, we still have don't know this, left. but. Now, Andy, I, I know you can be somewhat critical I'm of the comedy industry. Any criticisms of games. me so far? Well, a little bit. I think you're a little hosty. Yeah. Sounds like you're hosting something. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you, doctor host? Also, I'm, what, what, what's a voice artist? A voice, uh, what, what do I, are you saying I paint pictures with my voice? I also don't like that soup to nuts. You've seen him from Dr. Katz to Bob Burgers, from this area to that. It just seemed like you, that you didn't know me, first of all. But the, the main thing is, are you doing better in the business than me? Not even close. I love what you do. I love what you do. I don't feel that you're a threat in any way. Oh, well, that's a relief. Besides, that soup to nuts thing was all the writer's fault. No, the writers are great. I, don't, look, I, I know what you're trying to do, Cookie. You're trying to drive a wedge between me and the writers. I'm in it for the long game, Cookie. I'm going to establish a, a, a relationship for the writers, and guess who's going to be the host of You Don't Know Jack? The voice artist Andy Kindler. Deal with that, Cookie. Are you finished? Yes, but if anyone is listening to this who cast anything, uh, I just want you to know that I, my acting can be better than this. I, I would I would not say that this was my best acting. I can do angry, and, I can, and I'm very good at doing bitter. Um, you know, I, I don't want to cut you off, but are you ready to play Andy? Am I ready to play Andy? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. And there goes a whip. Let's start with... Yep. Let's There's rest. a Peter Boyle on your neck. So, Andy, what's your fondest memory of working on Everybody Loves same, Raymond? My fondest memory was getting my first residual check. It was huge. And then the memories start to fade away as the checks go lower now, and lower and answer, lower. And I'm now show you I can't remember anything first. about the show. Whew. All right, well, that's a relief. Uh, cause I never watched it. Yeah, I thought we were gonna have to talk about it. If everybody in the world loved Ray Barone, what would be the most accurate name for his TV show? 500 million people love Raymond, 2 billion oh, people love Raymond, 7 billion... There are approximately 7 billion humans on the planet. You know, if you answer faster, you get more cash. 7 cash. billion. That's a lot of people, Andy. I you know? Game, I've always felt it seems... My general feeling oh, about life is... Oh, the same thing for me. Here. He doesn't, listen, she uh -huh. doesn't know I like people as far like as that me. goes. 
I like the concept of people cooking drinks. Cook in the when they're in the flesh, which I guess is what defines a person. Not so much. You know what I mean? Not really. Here's what I'm hoping for: cooking some kind of pestilence that sweeps the planet. It's bullying. It's bullying. It could be a virus. Woo. I would like to. I'd like the Earth to top out one, two billion tops. Well, you're like me, Andy. You know, we're people, people. Why not try Swift Kick to the Monster's Ball? All right, Andy. On a scale of awesome to incredible, how would you rate Halle Berry's performance in Catwoman? Oh, well, I'm glad you brought that the up because is I can't get enough about. of superhero movies. Yeah. What I like too is when they have those movies where they uh, where it's they change like history. All of a sudden, the, the Flash is version, somehow taking down Jack. Hitler in World War II. I love that. I also love any. Halle Berry vehicle. Did you see Cloud Atlas? Uh, that's definitely not a superhero movie. Right, but that was the mo- uh, movie where, uh, do you like Halle Berry? Yes. Okay, well now she's in 12 roles. Enjoy yourself. You know, uh, when the uh, hurricane broke out in New York, they had a big announcement, anybody whose house has been damaged, please report to the nearest theater showing Cloud Atlas, because it will be completely empty. And then when they got to the theater, many people requested that they don't play the movie. <laughs> now, maybe this is more of a slam on Cloud Atlas. Now, don't get me wrong, should you be someone who gets me wrong. I love Halle Berry. I would sleep with Halle Berry. Right. I would divorce my wife for one night with Halle Berry. Sure. I like saying the name Halle Berry, uh-huh. but I don't know anything she's done. I don't go to movies. I don't talk to people. Uh, but I assume she's she's a nice person through and through. Have I answered the? Is anyone still? Is there any computer still left on in America or throughout the world after my long winded answer? <clears throat> I forgot what my original question was. So I think the question was about Halle Berry <laughs> and whether I liked her, or what my feelings were about her. I say yes. I vote yes on Halle Berry, but I would like to vote absentee style. Okay, uh, well, let, let me ask you this, finally. If watching a Halle Berry movie had the same effect on your body as eating a Holly Berry, what disclaimer might accompany one of her films? Watching ca- Holly Berries are toxic and can cause vomiting or diarrhea when consumed. Now, I wouldn't say Catwoman made me vomit, per se, but there was definitely some dry no, heating happening at no, the beginning, middle, them, and so end. I'm trying to get first now. <laughs> that is the worst compliment ever. Three! Next, we hold these hues to be self-evident, and this this or that started a nation. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each okay, one, you, you know tell me if it's say, right? a U.S. founding yeah. father who signed the Declaration of Independence, or a brand of house paint. If it's a founding father, click here or press one. I have four if it's out of seven. a house paint, let's see if I can do click here or press two. Yeah. Okay, let's move. Hopefully, you get a perfect score. John Hancock, Benjamin Rush, Benjamin Moore, Roger Sherman, Sherwin Williams. William Williams, Christopher Peacock. Oh! You beat Andy. You know what? It's a time for me to be beat. Wait, you got two? That was weird. He got two. Andy, do you think our forefathers would be proud of America today? Well, you know, Cookie, I believe our forefathers would be sick by what's going on. Except for the gun issue. Our forefathers would want us to have been armed to the teeth. In fact, many of the forefathers used teeth guns. So a little known historical fact. Andy, I work on a trivia game, and uh, I'm pretty sure none of what you said is true. Let me tell you something. I just like how strongly I'm I'm expressing myself. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I just like my energy. Here's a good one. Emergency room to grow. So, Andy, what was it like playing opposite Dr. Huxtable? I think you're confusing me with, uh, I think this must with, be with Mrs. 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 Huxtable. Question. I wasn't on the Cosby show. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. I always get you oh, confused with crap. Lisa Bonet. It's the oh, now we're going to remember. Here we go. This 
this will take me to And I'll write you a prescription for an extra thousand yeah. dollars for a right answer. Put these doctors in order of their specialty from highest to lowest on the Dr. human Shoals body. Dr. Huxtable, Dr. Katz, think, Dr. Scholes, Dr. Dr. Katz is a therapist and deals yeah, with the it. human mind. Yep. Dr. Huxtable is an OBGYN, so he deals that, with the reproductive organs. And Dr. Scholes is a brand of footwear. Right. <laughs> Do you remember, Cookie, that uh, Rolling Stone cover that had Lisa Bonet on it? Oh, yeah. Answer. I still have it. Laminated. That woman was hot. I'm not saying she's not hot now, but she was hot then. Uh, um, more money is there a reason why you had it laminated? Wait, I think laminated is the wrong word. <laughs> and I <laughs> Okay, let's get this question. What the heck? It's time. For the check attack. Okay. Well, don't mind me then. Pop, this Here's is your the seven question. Will game. they or won't they? What TV show features these oh, on again, please. off again couples? Good luck. Oh, crap. That one, we don't know. I think it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's got it. Okay, next up is uh, Jim and Cam. I still know who they are. So my original guess was two and a half man. I, I thought it was from Futurama. I think it's two and a half man. I'm not sure. Yeah, seven times was from Cheer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we are looking for that. But give me a fun answer. I was never the right answer. I don't know who they are. I'm gonna put a mini Kevin on Brent. That's the thing that makes sense. I want a sex community. Very big. Oh, shoot. It might have been the office. No, it's not yeah. the office. It's just like the album. that we slip Bob's burgers in yeah. there. I mean, it's like you were sticking subliminal, uh, subliminal messages in there, <laughs> or something like that. What do you, what are you guys using? What are you guys using to, uh, uh, technology in some way? How do you do it? Is what I'm saying. It's, uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but yes, it, it involves technology. So, Andy, you, you play the mortician that lives next door, right? So, what kind of research did you do to figure out how a mortician thinks? First of all, I don't even know what a mortician is. The only mortician I knew was Morticia Adams. Look, obviously, I Did ran out of material Adams? about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm not so sure much from you today, Andy. He now, said tell Adams. Me, when and where can we catch Bob's Burgers on the airwaves? Bob's Burgers right. is on Fox. Not Fox News. Okay, there are no intentionally funny shows on Fox News. This is on regular Fox. Like, Fox could be 11 in your town. It could be Channel 5. And it's on Sunday nights. What are you doing Sunday nights? Um, Nothing. So why don't you watch Sunday me? Nights, 8.30, I believe, Jack. is when it's on in some time zones. There's if you're in the central time zone, you don't, you know, you know what I say? Good yeah. luck to you. Perfect. And if you're in the mountain time zone, what, do you sit around and listen to John Denver songs? Or more current singer songs? Uh, you know, Andy, I, I actually am free on Sundays. And I, I was thinking, I don't know, maybe you and me could do a little project together. You know, Cookie, I bet you were thinking that I would respond by saying I'm too busy, I don't want to work with you. I'm going the other way, Cookie. Sunday morning, 8 a.m., we meet, we go to the golf course. Okay. We both realize we don't play golf. We catch a nice brunch. Uh-huh. Then we go do a podcast together. Then we uh, then we and come up with ideas great. that won't work. Great. And then yeah, we both sit around the rest of the day drinking heavily and complaining about 
others. Oh, are you kidding? That sounds like a perfect Sunday to me. Count me in. Cookie, hold on a second. Let me look at my calendar. I want to want to cancel my appointment with Max Headroom. <laughs> you don't know Jack. And that's the last time we saw that one funny. This time, one contestant was beaten by Andy. Yeah. But this time, the game was unusual. At first, I thought it was off. I thought I was gonna do the same thing, but it actually was different. That is weird, man. Yeah, it was just a teeny bit different. Yeah. And see what, how much cash we've got. Sixteen thousand for the uncut version. All right, that concludes Earth Day weekend. Now tune in Saturday and Sunday as we play these next two guests. It'll be Paul F. Tompkins and Malia Bamford. Then stay tuned for the 75th episode as we play a special episode with a special guest from the 2011 You Don't Know Jack version from A National Lessons with Cookie Matheson. Poopsie and mayonnaise. And that's his cats. I'll skip all of these two women and go up to this immediately. After this, I'll gonna, I'm gonna ma make up the special episodes. After that, I'll do the classic episodes. But the Jack Bowl, however, is gone. I won't be able to record it. It's gone. Forever. Well, that's the bad news. But anyways, tune in tomorrow for... For... What was that guy's... What was that guy's name? Oh, Paul oh, F. Tompkins. Yes. Anyways, hope, hope you see you a Saturday night with me and Josh. So, by the way, Jack this. Have a Jack day. And have a and have a party, you don't know Jack Knight to you all. And you can make the last call, Josh. Okay. And so uh thank you for watching you don't know Jack Facebook episode sixty. Don't forget to spam new to your pets. And so stay tuned tomorrow night for another episode of You Don't Know Jack Facebook edition. This has been a WTAC TV 23 production in association with...